Okay, my name is Andrew Buntine. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm the lead developer at Hard Hat Digital. Uh, I've been around for about 10 years, um, mostly on the web. Uh, and if I'm not hacking, I'm probably skateboarding. Okay, I'm going to talk about parallax. Um, so first of all, what the hell is parallax? Um, effectively, it's the apparent displacement of objects when you view them from multiple viewpoints, uh, typically two. So, um, <laughs> so as a kid, you may have looked at something in the distance and closed one eye, and as you toggle your eyes, you'll see the things moving at very small distances. If you were to then put your finger in front of your face and do the same thing, your finger will be jumping at greater distances. That's because your finger is closer to your face, your viewpoint, and uh, therefore it's moving at greater distances. It's parallax. Same thing when you're driving in a car, trees are moving fast, mountains in the background, hardly moving at all. It's the same thing. Okay, one cool thing I worked out when I, when I was researching this was that humans and most mammals, our vision actually crosses, crosses uh, two eyes. And that, that means that um, when we're looking, we can actually uh, gauge depth with this. And that's how we'd have a natural parallax effect. Whereas some creatures actually have uh, their eyes further back in their head. And that's why, say, pigeons actually bob their head. It's because they can't gauge depth any other way. Okay, so the history of this on the web it first came out about uh, 12 months ago, maybe a bit more, uh, with Nike Better World. Nike Better World came up, and it sort of caused a bit of a stir in the industry. People were going crazy about this you know, new thing they were doing, and it took people a while to reverse engineer it and work out what they were doing. It turns out it's really stupidly simple. OK. So this is my website. Um, it has won several awards in the last few weeks. <laughs> All you got to do is sign up and they give you a award. It's really simple. <laughs> okay, so what we'll do, as, as I scroll, you'll see the planets are actually moving at different speeds. Mercury jumps past really quick there, while Uren uh, uh, Uranus and um, Pluto are hardly moving at all because they're billions of miles away. Most of these websites also have these nabs that sort of stick around with you, so you can jump up and down and see cool things. Uh, this looks way better than NikeBetterWorld.com. But it is exactly the same technique, I guarantee you. So how am I doing this? I'm already there. So there's only a little bit of maths here. It's pretty simple. Cool, you can actually see that. So there's four variables involved here. There's h, which is the document height, and p, which is the object. So each one of these are objects, current offset. Uh, both of those you can get very simply with JavaScript. You can Google that. Um, the two slightly complex bits are the adjuster value, which is A, and the inertia, which is I. The adjuster value effectively is, it's hard to explain in 30 seconds, but it's effectively <laughs> the value that will be apparent as the object reaches zero, as it goes out of the viewpoint. Um, and I suggest you just tinker with it, um, because I found out hardware and browsers jump at different intervals. You basically can't calculate this value, so tinker with it. Um, I'm using HTML5 data attributes to store this. Um, uh, and yeah, basically, if when you scroll, you get a massive jump, you just have to tinker with this value to get it right. Um, and I is the inertia. It needs to be between 0 and 1. Um, 0 meaning that it doesn't move at all. It's totally static. And 1 meaning it moves at the exact same speed as you scroll. So 0.5, it's going to move at half the speed. Um, each one of these planets is simply a div that covers 100% by 100%. And all we're doing is as we scroll, we're repositioning the background image of that div. So uh, it's very simple. Every time we scroll, we just reposition that background image um, given uh, these four values. So the code, like I said, it's very simple. <laughs> I've packaged it in as a jQuery uh, plugin. And uh, not including the, the, um, the standard jQuery plugin pattern, it's 14 lines of code. All we're doing here is grabbing some information about the, uh, about the uh, object. Each planet is an object. Um, I'm calculating the inertia by dividing it by 40 million, which is a distance in kilometers a bit less than Mercury is to the sun. By the way, we can sort of assume we're the sun here, then like, we're like, you know, viewing the, like, you know, like really messing up the universe by like bobbing the sun up and down billions of kilometers. Um, and all we're doing here is this new position function, all it's doing is implementing the maths I showed you before. And every time we scroll, 
we're just re re recalculating the background position. And um, that's it. So um, yeah, that really is it. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs>